Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a short latte art tutorial using the Oracle by Sage. This has cropped up in a few message boards and there's been a few people asking if latte art can be done. They're struggling a bit with it and it can be done. It's pretty tricky as you've seen in my last few videos. It definitely can be done. So what I'm going to do is try and do a tutorial. I am by no means any expert. I'm like your average guy latte art kind of guy, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. I, I've been trying to perfect it for a couple of years and I've got a few designs down, but today I'm going to be showing you how I would do the tulip, which is a pretty common one that you would see. It's pretty impressive looking and we'll just dive right into it. The first thing you want to do with the Oracle is make sure that your steam wand's clean. So you remove the tip, just by unscrewing it, and there's a tool here and you just poke the holes. Make sure every hole's clear because this can really affect the quality of your milk. Just run that through and give it a twist. Make sure everything in here is clean, there's nothing gummed up. There are sachets that come with the machine that you can put in the frothing jug and they'll clean all the calcium deposits off. So if you keep that nice and clean, it gives you the best chance of doing it. Onto milk. Full fat milk is by far the easiest to do latte art with. Straight out of the fridge, nice and cold. People say you should put your jug in the fridge, put your jug in the freezer. I don't really think it makes much difference to be perfectly honest. So, my jug's at room temperature, my milk is two degrees according to my fridge. So, just pour in enough milk. With a bit of time, you'll know the size of your cup, how much milk, and you won't waste much milk. So, because I've got an Oracle, I can do espresso and I can do milk frothing at the same time. So firstly, my milk's set at 65 degrees and it's one, two, three, four, it's five stages up from latte. So it's just on the latte side of the middle. So I've already preheated my cup and I've done the grind those in tamp. So my shot's ready to go. So I'll just discard the warm water into the drip tray. I'm gonna purge my milk froth. I'll just be lifting it up for a few seconds until I see steam. This will give you a better chance as well because it stops as much water going into it. There's always a bit of residual water in the nozzle, so that just alleviates that. I'm going to put the tip in, make sure the white gasket's covered. I'm going to jump to another camera angle, as I've only got one camera and I don't fancy doing this a few times. I'm going to pull the shot and start the milk. So now that my milk's frothed, I'm just going to take it out of the machine, give it a wipe, push it down, and it should all purge. So the key with latte art is to work pretty quick. So what you want to do is swirl the jug until we get that wet paint consistency that I've been talking about for a while. You don't want to over swirl it or you'll end up, the milk will just be pretty watery. Swirl your espresso as well, get it coating the edges. And I'm going to attempt a chill up here, so I'll talk you through it. So I'm going to pour into the centre from height, go around the cup a few times, pour a design, just doing this in stages, forcing it to the bottom of the cup, and then a big cut at the end. Not the greatest example of latte art, but it can be done, and that, that's a basic technique in how I would go around about doing it. So in conclusion, the Oracle is perfectly capable of producing latte art quality milk and it's purely down to the user and technique. As I said, there's thousands of videos on YouTube that will show you how to do the different designs and you do get better at it. I'm hopeless at it under pressure, but many something that resembles latte art today. So we'll keep it at that. Thanks for watching and please click like and subscribe. Cheers.